Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. And a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. And everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. We're very much grateful. So thank you. I hope you guys are doing alright. And may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to What Happened to Jesus by Ahmed Dirat. If you want to conversate with us, you can do that down below in the comment section below. Or you can find us on Facebook as Funny and Jesse, Instagram Funny and Jesse, and just feel free to drop us a message. And we'll be more than glad to write back. So, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Thank you, my sister. Please. I thank you that I have the privilege to be here tonight to listen to you. I haven't read the Quran. You stimulated me. Perhaps I should read the Quran. But I would like to know what you believe with the ascension of Jesus. Do you believe that he actually lived? So then what happened to Jesus if he lived, if he did not die, if he lived? No. The Quranic ayah, the verse that I read to you, the last expression I said was Bal Rafahullahu ilayhi But Allah took him up to himself We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up Saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross Because the people on the cross were absolutely naked They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man The messenger of God You say the son of God Naked and bare before the world You know flies buzzing around him it's, no, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant his messenger, Jesus, God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back to just you. He is coming back. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to me. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, he's given it to us. So what does Jesus come and do? I says, no, he's coming along to rectify you. And he's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, he says, many will say to me on that day, in his second coming, on his return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals, you know, orphanages, and we look after, after the aborigines, and we look after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we look after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things you did. Uh, we educated all these fools, you know, we civilized them, we cultured them, yes, 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 we did all the things. So did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. Depart from me, foot sack, get away, you rubbish, get away. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Amazing. You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing. By God, I tell you, you know, I, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing, the way you look after the animals, you know, animal conservation to preserve life. Ooh, fantastic things you are doing, but for human beings as well. What, what you are doing? And that's what you're going to say to Jesus. Didn't we do all these things for you in your name? And he's going to tell you, foot sack. Foot sack. I don't know this is this Afrikaans word. It means get away. Get away, you rubbish. Like you say to die. He's going to do that to you. Why would he do that to you? When you did all these things for Jesus. Come, come. I am asking the Christians, he's not going to tell the Jews foot sack. He's going to tell the, not going to tell the Muslims foot sack. He's going to tell the Hindus foot sack. 
He's going to tell you. Why would he tell you for sack? Get away, you're rubbish, I don't know you. I'm asking the Christians, answer me. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He is not your Lord. He is not your God. That's the reason. That is the reason. You make him into a God. That's the reason. You did all this? You bloody rubbish. I don't know you. Get away. You're not mine. You don't belong to me. Not to the Muslims. Not to the Hindus. Not to the atheists. But to the Christians. To the Christians. And those who are claiming to be his followers. He's going to tell you, get away, rubbish, get away. I don't know, because you have made him into a Lord God. When he told you to worship the Father in heaven. He's telling you, come, come, come. I'll teach you how to pray and pray like this. And he puts the words in your mouth. Like a little baby, like a little child. Pray like this. Oh, our Father, which are in which are in He's the father of everybody. Okay. Thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done earned on earth as it is in heaven. Where did he say the father of Jesus Christ in heaven? Or oh, Jesus Christ, my Lord in heaven? Where? He said, this is how you pray. But you have forgotten that. You're worshipping him instead of worshipping the father. Therefore, he says, fat sack, get away. I don't even know you. Uh, did you say, the lady, the lady, did you say you got the Quran? You have a Quran? I love how this video is advertising for people to plant trees. I mean, it's our responsibilities uh, to take care of earth and the dump and control the damage that we've done. It's never too late to plant a tree. So always feel free to plant a tree and you may never know what your contribution may be doing. Otherwise, back to the video. Um, I love Ami Didat. I think he's my favorite. And the forsake word he was using, that's just hilarious. Um, I mean, it's just normal. Why? I, that's all I say. Why would you want to worship a human being who's just like you? It doesn't make sense to me. I refuse to worship a human being. I refuse to worship any other thing that's just like me or whatever object it is. Otherwise, be open to the truth. The truth is right before you. No one, God, ha, um, Jesus hasn't told you that He's God, and God hasn't said Jesus is God. So where did you get that thing of saying Jesus is God, and who told you to worship Him? He hasn't asked anyone to worship Him. It's just insane, and God hasn't asked anyone to worship another human being. Um, but otherwise people are still going to be arrogant and say no he's this he's this he's this um, it's never too late to go out there research find out what you have to find out and see if you still say the same thing as but he's the son of God but he's this but he's three in one and let's see how that goes and it's not in a bad way but when I say research it's actually in a good way there's many things that you find out there by just reading import um not important but necessary books otherwise let me know what you guys actually think about this video and the message that i did that had for us and yeah love this video let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video